Welcome to the episode today. Uh, in today's episode, I want to talk about how to make a really good time lapse. Uh, I've had some questions recently about uh, the equipment I use here on the vlog and how to how to vlog. I already did an episode on how to vlog. I want to make an episode specifically on how to do a good time lapse for your for your vlogs. Am I gonna make the corner? Yep. Okay, well, the big thing about taking a time lapse is lighting. Is your lighting good? In here, eh, well, let me see. In here, it's okay, it's not great. Um, so if you did do a time lapse like in here, um, by the way, why I'm looking at the monitor right now is my settings right now are all automatic. I barely use any manual stuff while shooting my vlogs. Um, just because it's easier that way, but this is what this time lapse would look like in here with this type of lighting and this type of surroundings. We'll talk about surroundings in a little bit. Okay, so that's what that would look like if if uh, if you didn't have great lighting or great surroundings, which I will talk here in a little bit, or a great angle, which we're talking about right now. I want to talk about like what I find are the best angles and how to like look for a nice angle for a time lapse. I just I feel like did you? I feel like with with the angle with the time lapse can be really really good and also really important um, along with the lighting. Good angle, good lighting, good time lapse. There's there, there's five things, but there let me okay. And number two is to always have good angles. Right now, I'm using leading lines. You see the road here? It's directing your attention one way or another. Rather than shooting the road this way, I'm shooting with the road. With the lines is good. So, uh, if I did a time lapse like this with the leading lines, it will look something, will look something like this. Another thing about angles are, ooh, another thing about angles are, if you don't have any leading lines, like a road or any physical lines that you can see that you can you can follow, always use the always use the clouds. Use the uh, like if you can f figure out what direction the clouds are going, use the clouds. Uh, if you need to figure out the direction, look. Sorry, look at the edge of the clouds. Look at the edge of the clouds, and uh, you can figure out what direction. And then follow that direction. Either make a decision, are the clouds gonna go over you this way, or they're gonna come towards you. Now, that's one way. Or if you're gonna go against the lines, at least have some depth. Don't make it a really shallow, like, across the street. Make it, like, far, like, deep into a field somewhere cool, or something like that. I just feel like those look and feel and fit better in at least the types of videos I do. Maybe for you it's different. I don't know. Okay, off to number three. Photo shoot. You see they're, uh, they're doing a photo shoot here at Golden Hour. Just like me. Good choice, guys. Number three is to like the movement of the camera. When you're taking a time lapse, your camera should be like really still, like really, really still. Like you shouldn't see any of that because what happens is when you speed it up, those wobbles and shakes start to move a lot and then it doesn't look good and then the time lapse doesn't come out in like the nice, beautiful, crispy quality that you want it to. The other thing is this. <sighs> Turn off autofocus. There was a time lapse I did in this vlog, and the focus, let's see if I can do it. The focus was doing this the whole time. So, so what I recommend is turn off autofocus. And if you don't move the camera, time lapse looks like this.
The other thing that makes a great time lapse is how long you take the time lapse for. I just shoot video mode here on the camera. I just press record and let it go for a while. I do a four to ten minute time lapse every time I do a time lapse. I realize in editing, which I'll talk about editing, when you make it go faster, it gives you it gives you about a thirty seconds to a minute of like good quality time lapse. So all the uh, time lapses shot in this tutorial were all shot at four minutes exactly, like this one as well. All right, all right you get the point, right? Okay, so then once you get your lighting down, your angle down, no movement, and you've waited for about four to ten minutes, your time lapse should look pretty good. The next step is to head back into the studio and edit your time lapse. So let's head back to the studio. Okay, step five is to edit. So let's let, let's go to editing. I'm gonna open up the uh, Final Cut thing that I use for, for the vlog um, and I will show you how I label and edit the vlog basically which I think I've done an I think I've I've uh, I think I've done an episode where I've edited the vlog okay let's open this thing up okay so now I'm here editing the time-lapse and here's how I do it let me get back to where this was okay so I finished let me mute my music actually I pick some music first, and then I do this. And this type of surroundings. We'll talk about surroundings in a little bit. Okay, so right now it's just a regular video. Regular, plain old video. I take out all the audio. You can do it however you want. I do it like that. And then times 20. The reason I know how to do times 20, which is like 2,000% or whatever, um, is I do a four minute time lapse. I talked about it. I do a four minute time lapse. And that four minutes gets us from a minute 40 to a minute and 26 seconds. Probably won't use all of it, but let's see. That's around it in a little bit. Notice a little jumpy because of uh, rendering. So I want the, the next shot to hit on that beat of the music. So I'm going to stop it right before then. You can almost hear the kick come in, so I'm gonna stop it there and bring in the next shot. Here's what I've learned also from vlogging a lot. So I don't know if you saw what I did there. I just bladed that so it's its own separate clip. Mute it and drag it before this cut because if I cut that music will go too, which I don't want. So I put it like here. I can also grab it, it's pretty long. Let's see if it hits. Yep. Okay, I'm doing the exact... My, my lighting here is off. I'm doing the exact same thing I did with the first one. So basically, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just selecting it, taking out the audio, bringing it down at the uh, plus 20 here in Final Cut Pro because I do a four minute time lapse, and then I, I go from there. That's uh, that's how you edit. That's how I edit my time lapses. But let's head back out in you know out there to to put it all together. Okay, uh, now I'm going to show you how to put. I'm sorry, I'm I'm literally by a fountain. But now I'm going to show you how to put it all together. How to get your lighting right. The lighting here looks okay. How to get uh, your angle down. There are there are my leading lines here. I have to wait four minutes and then I have to edit this shot. So if I put it all together, it all will look like this. Well, I, uh, I hope you learned something in the episode today on how to take a good, maybe not, maybe cinematic time lapse. Um, well, it was beautiful filming out here today. Golden hour, got the whole thing done during golden hour, which is like a little time crunching, but hey, I got it done. 
So uh, I'll see you tomorrow for another really nice, really exciting, hopefully exciting, hopefully fun uh, adventure. <laughs>